So we're here at a PM is what I believe it is on a Climate Master geothermal system. I think there's three of them they want me to service. It's just a heat call. favorite places to be but all he wants is a win winter p.m. like I said these are climate master geothermal units this is a package unit I'm just in front of now this is a 026 model this one's pretty old this is an open loop pump and dump we're gonna do a water side diagnostics on it really quick do is make sure that we're running into our second stage and we have Y1, Y2 they're both Jumbert so yes uh, we can pull the Y2 blue wire here off and you hear the compressor change tunes so we know that it is energizing the solenoid. You heard it there. He wants me to go ahead and check the gas because I had to. I see that there is gas. It's trying to leak out right there. We are in the heat mode. And my suction is probably going to be somewhere back here where you guys can't see it. Go ahead and take our water in and out just to show you guys how this is done. I hope the GoPro is picking all this up. But we want to get our entering and leaving water. The entering in water in is usually always on the bottom on almost all geothermal units. So we have. Sixty-two degree entering water. Six sixty-two degree entering water. And we should be extracting heat out of that. Depending on the water flow, of course. I can go ahead and check my pressure drop as well. I have a 45 PSI entering water pressure and 54 degree temperature, 54 degree leaving. should always be less 40 actually I gotta check this really quick because the pump is modulating the pumps kicking on the well pump is kicking on kicking off kicking on kicking off so we're gonna say 30 and 32 So 30 out, 32 to, on this unit is probably going to be 8 GPM times 500 times our delta T, and it's so 26 AGC00 ALWS. A L W S and our serial number is right here, which is K 
fourteen forty one hundred. K fourteen forty one hundred forty. So that's our model, our serial number. Now I have a feeling that I'm probably moving closer to seven GPM. So if I can recalculate that times eight, we want to be in the ball. This is the full load of 26 TT, TT model. We have our water pressure drop right there. Very rich action and cooling. They expected the entering air temperature to be 70, and it was 85. The heat of extraction is down there. What we have is entering water temperature. We were doing about 62. We look at this column, our water pressure drop, PSI, is around 2, I think it was, which is. Four to six is probably closer to two point five. So, so that was six gallons per minute. Bring that over. This is the cooling. This is the heating. So our heat of extraction in that uh, focus six to sixty degree column. Puts us at focus, focus, focus around 22 to 23,000 BTUs heat of extraction. And we were doing a little better than that because we were up a little higher than 60, so you can even go up to the 70 column, bring that across. And that would have been around 24. So we were running around 62, which is in between those two. And this is probably very hard to do. But that still puts us in the ballpark of between 25 to 21,000 BTUs heat of extraction on our 026 full load geothermal heat pump. And those are basically the charts we use to determine how our water side diagnostics is. I'll throw that in there. Because we're extracting the heat out of the loop and putting it into the home. I'm going to hook a suction gauge up to it just to see if the charge is still good. I mean, our entering water is 63. So that would be like your outdoor ambient temperature of your house being 63 or lower so yeah i mean we have four almost 400 psi the fan's probably running on a slow speed and 114 degree evaporator there's nothing wrong with that not for 410a um, it's probably 70, 80 degrees. It's probably about 75 in the house, 72 in the house. So that's why our head pressure is so high. So as far as I could tell, the uh, the performance of this unit seems to be great. Uh, let's go ahead and see. inside the blower section why it's running just to see what we're doing over there and this side of the coil this side of the coil looks beautiful it's nice and hot the little trick here is you can put this screw down here at the bottom and then you ain't got to and then when you put it up there and you drop it, it ain't gonna fall out because you don't have to worry about putting that screw in. The only thing that will do is keep it from vibrating 
and you ain't gonna hear that because it's on it nothing's touching all right so as far as i could tell this one is working just fine no problems to be concerned with for a winter winter pm unit's doing what it's supposed to be doing careful because there's a lot of high voltage right in this area don't want to rub your arm against it and get yourself shocked by cabs back on they're very very important that's the biggest thing with uh, climate master is uh, they have tendency to have leaky trainer valves so we might be thinking we have a leaky coil and the whole time it's a damn leaky trainer valve or a cap that doesn't have a grommet in it This is a three-year-old geothermal water furnace. I'll go ahead and check my water temperatures in and out. These are open loop. Uh, everything looks pretty good on that. I don't think I'm gonna check the charge on this one because I kind of know that this is also an NDZ 026, which is a Envision dual capacity Z for split. If that was an NDV or NDH, that would be a kept a package unit. Which we have 40, 48, and 50. So 50 and 48. So that's a two pound drop. So that is probably moving 6 GPM, I'm guessing. Without looking at the shot, probably moving 7 GPM. So, times 6. Let's go 500 times 6 times 7 equals 21,000. So, let's go over here and check out the final package unit.